Hi guys, um, welcome to the Cash Valley Counseling uh, Max group. This month we're discussing um, spring cleaning your relationship. So I'm going to be going over ways to um, bring up disagreements or having you check in with yourself about how you approach your partner when there's um, an issue in the relationship or something that you want addressed. Um, because this is one of the most, um, well, this is one of the ways that we can kind of uh, improve our relationship in a not easy way, but a way that's doable um, on our own, something we can check in it on with ourselves. Um, and I'm going to be talking about the um, John Gottman's soft startup versus a harsh startup. Most of us do harsh startups when we don't like something in our relationship or um, we want something changed or something's been bothering us. Um, there's usually good reasons behind those wants and needs, but the way we handle them is not always effective. Um, so the soft startup is a way to kind of bring down defenses. It's a way to... Um, lower criticisms and have more reception between uh, both people. So um, let's see, let's just jump into it. There's there's a little bit varying um, like ingredients across the web of the Gottman soft startup. Uh, if you go to the Gottman Institute, they have it there. There's lots of blog posts and information out there about the soft startup. I just kind of put together a compilation of what I found. Um, so we want to choose our timing carefully. Um, this means like we don't want to bring things up in a high, um, high like in intensity, like um, the end of the day, right after work or kids are all getting home. Um, and sometimes this can be hard to do. Sometimes it might not feel like there's a lot of time or options in the day. So, which makes it easier to bring things up at times that are not effective. Um, so this is something to kind of be mindful of. Um, you want to put it, not get rid of it and not disregard your feelings, but also, um, be mindful about when you're bringing up issues. Um, we want to use I statements. So, and I'm sure you've heard of these before versus the you statements. So you statements are a lot, come across more attacking. Um, they come across more critical. And usually when we feel crit criticized or attacked, we're going to put our protections up. We're not going to be listening um, and taking in what our partner is saying. Um, so we want to, this means we want to start our sentences with I. So, um, some examples that I found is like versus you versus I would be, um, you are not listening to me versus I don't feel heard right now. Um, you're so careless with money versus we're a little tight on our budget and I think we should try to save more. So. Those are just two little examples. Um, so using an I statement, this is something that was brought up, is that it's not an excuse to say something like, I feel like you never listen to me. That's still a harsh um, startup, and you'll kind of understand why um, as we go through this. Um, but that's a very like blaming statement. So it you use the I at the beginning, but you but the so it said, like, I feel like you never listen to me. It's, um, there's a blame in there. Not, it's not focused on me, the one that's saying it. It's still shifting that lens to our partner. Um, so the next one is being clear. Um, when we get in a relationship, um, 
or a relationship starting out, there's a lot of infatuation, which means it's easy to go along with whatever and not feel like we're, um, our partner does anything wrong. We feel like they can do no wrong. The sky is blue, grass is green, everything's great. Um, but then after a while, those things kind of don't stand out so much and we start seeing the negative. And there's something about our culture that we feel like our partner should know us if they loved us enough, um, if they were the right one for us, like they would know what we need all the time. Um, and that's just not realistic and it's not what uh, good relationships are about. So we need to be clear about what things mean to us and why and how we can address those things in our relationship. Your partner is not going to know automatically. So we might think, oh, they should know this, how uh, annoying this is, or they should know how rude that is, or they don't, they don't understand me at all because they never leave the keys where the keys go. Right. So, um, there's just, we need to be clear on our hopes and our wants and our desires and not, that doesn't mean that we're right or that everything should be our way. But if we're not clear, our partners aren't going to know how to help us or know how to make us feel loved or whatever it might be. Okay. So this is being respectful. Um, just because of how we're feeling, which can be a lot inside, does not give us an excuse to tear our partner down or make them feel like they're less than. Or um, we can also add in some positive interactions with this um, experience. Like, I appreciate this so much about you. I appreciate when you do that. I notice this. Um, please and thank you, like they're still valuable as your partner, you still admire them, um, but this is something that I want to talk about. Um, so really putting all of this together, you know, the timing, um, the I versus you, the being respectful, um, being clear. So that's what we're doing, we want to put all of this together in a statement. Um, and it does take practice and I have some things at the end for practice. <clears throat> and then the last one I pointed out is don't bottle things up. So this kind of goes along with the timing. Um, but if we bottle things up, we might get so overwhelmed and so lost in it that we fire hose our partner with all the things that they're doing wrong or all the things we expect. And that's just going to flood and um, affect's going to get very dysregulated and no one's going to be happy. <laughs> so um, you might feel justified, you might feel so uh, fed up with things, but it's not going to be very effective. Um, so really practicing communicating early on and little by little instead of having a big... Um, a big event where we expect incredible change. So um, those are kind of the some of the bullet points of this soft startup. Here is some questions. This goes on for two slides, so you can pause the video and look at these questions and answer them true or false. Um, if more than five are true, this means we need to address this in the relationship. It's an area we need to work on. If it's five or less, um, meaning one to five, then it uh, can be a weakness and maybe needs some attention or just awareness. Um, this is from the Gottman Couple Workbook. And then, um, so do those questions, answer true or false, get some awareness, um, have a discussion if you want. Um, or just do some inner work and look in at ourselves. Um, 
then these are some questions that are, um, I apologize for this, uh, how this is set up because it's not very clear. Um, but so it, you can also pause this again so you can read it, but you, these are some examples of situations where you might be tempted <clears throat> to accuse and blame or um, have your point be seen. Um, you might feel unheard, you might feel unseen, um, frustrated, all those things that are important, but we want to practice this soft startup. So these are just two examples. Um, but you can take a look at these and kind of get an idea of what this is looking like. Um, so you're on your way home from, uh, from work after a long day of unproductive meetings. And when you get home, there's a pile of laundry on the bed and dishes are in the sink. So a harsh startup might go like, you go ahead and relax on the couch, finish your show. Not like I'm tired or anything. I'll just clean up the whole house after I've been working all day with a sarcastic tone. Okay. So now your job is to work on softening that. So shifting it around, changing it, using these tips, how can that look different? There's a lot of different ways it might look, but that's just to practice. And then the second one is the 4th of July party is this weekend. And you know, your partner is going to leave everything to the last minute. Um, so a hard startup might be like, I just know this party isn't going to be a failure. You're always in a frazzle and it looks like you're not even having fun. So look at those things. Look at why that's frustrating and bringing something up to you. That will help. If you look at yourself first, that's going to help you to navigate this in a more effective way with your partner. So look at yourself first. Look at what's going on with you. How are you feeling? Why does this bother you? And then you're going to have a better time at um, being productive with your partner. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this is helpful for your spring clean of your relationship. And please reach out with any questions. Thanks.